Welcome back and now it's time for Sports Long 7. Bayana Bayana player Janine Van Wyk will be named in the team to face DR Congo in two 2024 CAF Women's Olympic qualifiers this month. Coach Desire Ellis' uh, squad for the qualifiers will be named in the coming days. And the two matches will be used as a send-off for Van Wyk, who is set to bring the curtain down on her littering career after the Games. The much-loved Van Vick has uh, earned 183 international caps during her glory career and should Ellis play her in the two matches, she will become the most capped player, male or female, on the continent. Congratulations to her. Interesting record there to uh, break. Now goals by Tara McMurphy, Frank Oyeka and Moses Simon stared Nigeria to a 3-2 victory over 10-man Mozambique in the international friendly encounter uh, in Portugal on Monday. The win in Portuguese City was the first for the Super Eagles in a friendly match in 55 months, back to March 2019, when Paul Nwachu's first uh, minute goal accounted for the uh, defeat of seven time African champions Egypt at the Stephen Keshe Stadium in Asaba. The Eagles have also now recorded their first international friendly win under Jose Pissero. After 15 match, friendly match, our, our team beat the other team. Last five years, Nigeria didn't win when when a friendly match. Uh, eight, I think, eight uh, defeats and seven draws, and today win is okay, is good. I think he deserved much more. I think um, you are thinking it's easy after play against ten, three one, but I think I didn't like the second half. No, because you you command the game, but you you, you must put more concentration. Mm, for finishing. You, you cannot allow this team with them. Our team is better than this team. Well, congratulations to the Super Eagles. And now, uh, let's quickly share with you so what some of the results uh, were from uh, yesterday. Senegal, of course, drew with Cameroon. Nigeria defeated Mozambique three goals to two. Egypt uh, with a one all draw against Algeria and Russia. Um, with, of course, two goals against two to Kenya. Um, it seems like a really, really uh, tightly fought one. Also, some sad news yesterday in the um, Belgium, I can't remember, Belgium-Sweden, I guess, game, where uh, the game had to be suspended at some point. Moving on, Bafana Bafana coach of South Africa, Hugo Bruce, is hopeful the Springboks win over France in the Rugby World Cup qualifier, a quarterfinal, rather, can inspire South Africa against Ivory Coast. The Springboks defied um, the odds to beat the competition's host 29-28 and silence thousands of supporters in Paris, as a, and as a result, of course, make it to the semis where they would play England. It contrasts the display put up by Bafana Bafana recently in an international friendly against Eswatini that ended goalless. And Bruce believes his team will put in a decent shift on Tuesday when they play Ivory Coast in another friendly game. You, yeah, I think it's quite easy to turn that around because in the, in the past they proved and they showed that they can do it in a different way. So uh, the qualities are there. It's not a question of quality. Uh, I think it was more a question of, uh, of mentality and uh, maybe, maybe underestimating uh, the opponent. Uh, we were not ready from the beginning in the game. And, uh, then you have more and more problems against uh, an opponent like this. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rather, rather confident now that uh, tomorrow it will be better. And uh, of course, uh, we could also share with you what the fixtures are like for international friendlies. Japan is going to be taking on Tunisia and Jordan versus Iraq. Saudi Arabia playing against Mali. Albania is going to be playing against Bulgaria. Bahrain versus Philippines. And Estonia taking on Thailand. All the best of those teams in the Afghan qualifiers. The fixtures, uh, of course, coming next are Morocco versus Liberia. Uh, and, of course, uh, we'll see how that one also turns out. Now, Algeria says it will host the Palestine national team's forthcoming football matches following a request from the Palestine Football Association. Palestine is scheduled to start their 2026 World Cup campaign in the Asian section next month. Their first qualifier away to Lebanon on the 16th of November will be played in the United Arab Emirates. A home match against uh, Australia five days later looks set to be played in North Africa. Now, following the attack by Israel on the militant group uh, Hamas on 7th of October, which left more than a thousand, um, or uh, rather, uh, following the attack on Israel, yes, by the militant group Hamas, 
uh, which left more than 1,400 people dead. The Gaza Strip has been the subject of retaliatory airstrikes, which have resulted in nearly 3,000 deaths, with the Israelis uh, looking set to launch an imminent ground offensive. Heartbreaking scenes there in Palestine and, of course, uh, uh, across the sporting world and generally across the world to continue to ask for peace um, and, of course, um, an end to all the killings and the death, regardless of what side you're on. Also in sports, Belgium and Sweden's Euro 2024 qualifier was abandoned at halftime after two people were shot dead in Brussels before the game. The score was at 1-1 at halftime when the decision was taken to suspend the game and fans were told to remain in the King Badoon Stadium until security permits them to leave. UEFA then confirmed the match had been abandoned in a statement. An announcement in Belgium's national um, stadium had uh, earlier said the players decided they do not want to continue the game because what happened today, um, earlier today in Brussels. The statement was made in English, French, Dutch and Swedish and applauded by a crowd of over 35,000. And that's all in sports. Uh, once again, all the best to all uh, people, all the teams playing today. And uh, once again, we continue to pray and encourage uh, that peace uh, comes in Palestine and Israel.